The most comprehensive infrared transmission spectrum of an exoplanet has astounded the entire space industry. James Webb's unforeseen revelation has unveiled aspects that researchers had not anticipated. With the most precise analysis of a planet beyond our solar system, the new telescope has once again demonstrated that a new era of space exploration has dawned. What has the James Webb Telescope discovered around the exoplanet WASP-96b that has surprised researchers so much, and could there be life on this distant planet? WASP-96b is a mysterious traveler that has been concealed in the boundless darkness of the cosmos. However, at intervals, this exoplanet swings by like a phoenix before its star. This is when we can observe and study this distant world from Earth. The captivating planet orbits its star incredibly swiftly and at an astonishingly close range, transforming its atmosphere into an inferno exceeding 725 degrees Celsius. The gas giant completes one orbit around the star WASP-96 in just 3.5 Earth days. Since its discovery in 2014, the first planet discovered in this star system has posed puzzles. Now, scientists have set about unraveling these mysteries with the new James Webb Telescope. WASP-96b is located together with its star about 1,150 light-years away in the constellation of Phoenix, and it is most likely a gas giant. WASP-96b is only about half the size of Jupiter and most likely has a sodium-rich atmosphere. Even though it is somewhat similar to the largest planet in our solar system, WASP-96b is a world that has no direct counterpart in our system. In June 2022, the Webb Space Telescope captured the cleanest signature of this mysterious distant world, fascinating people on Earth. Webb demonstrated its unprecedented ability to precisely analyze the atmospheres of distant planets for the first time. Here, scientists found water and evidence of cloud and haze in the atmosphere of this hot, bloated gas giant planet, WASP-96b. James Webb struck with its near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, revealing the atmospheric properties of the hot gas giant WASP-96b so precisely that it left astronomers speechless. It's a bit like looking into a distant house with binoculars and suddenly being able to see all the details, you'd be amazed and probably just as excited as the scientists who looked at WASP-96b in 2022. It's almost as if we were right there, now seeing the planet with our own eyes. Astronomers are enthusiastic about this masterpiece, and what was previously mere conjecture suddenly became tangible fact. With its NIRIS instrument, James Webb produced a complete transmission spectrum, the most accurate we had ever had of an exoplanet. The transmission spectrum is produced when starlight filtered through the planet's atmosphere is compared with unfiltered starlight. This type of observation is only possible if the planet orbits next to or in front of its star. Scientists call this passing of the planet a transit or transmission. The most accurate data is obtained with this type of observation when the planet is next to the star. James Webb creates a diagram from 141 individual data points in the diagram, these can be seen as white circles, and each of these circles represents a specific wavelength of light. The differences are caused by the absorption of starlight by the planet, some light waves are also blocked or altered by the planet. This creates a light imprint of the direct planetary environment, and as the surfaces of the planets reflect light, conclusions can be drawn from the diagrams about the surface properties of the planets. One of the light patterns captured by Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph depicts the variation in light intensity as the planet moves in front of its star. The graph spans wavelengths from 6 micrometers, shown in red, to 2.8 micrometers, falling within the near-infrared spectrum. This innovative technology represents a significant advancement, enabling precise analysis of distant exoplanets for the first time in human history. Researchers can now identify the presence of key gases in a planet's atmosphere by studying the absorption patterns of light, each gas exhibiting a distinct wavelength pattern. Webb autonomously identifies these patterns and provides finalized diagrams and measurement data within a few hours of observation. Researchers can read an incredibly broad spectrum of information from the heights of the transmission data peaks, allowing interpretations of the temperatures in the atmosphere. Of course, we get data on important gases or aspects such as water. A hotter planet like WASP-96b shows strikingly high peaks in the curves, and very specific patterns reveal water vapor and clouds. The parameters in the measurement diagrams are variable, and it is even possible to make predictions about the density and height of the cloud cover. Other graphs reveal the abundance of different gases and show biomarkers. It will take years to fully analyze the data on WASP-96b, 
but researchers were able to share the most exciting facts about this world with the public quite quickly. For example, we now know that there is water vapor in this world. Peaks in the transmission curves indicate the presence of clouds, and a gradual decrease in the spectrum indicates a possible cloudiness. The high atmospheric temperature of around 725 degrees Celsius was also determined by measurement curves like these. There is almost certainly no life on WASP-96b, if it were a gas giant, it would probably be just as inhospitable a world as Jupiter or Saturn. Thanks to SAU and NERUS, this detailed infrared transmission spectrum really does resemble a miracle, and yet there is solid technology behind it. The fact that Webb would be able to analyze distant worlds was intended, but the excellence with which this telescope now performs its work never ceases to amaze the scientific community. We have only been able to detect exoplanets in the vastness of space since the mid-1990s, and now, for the first time, we can learn crucial details about these distant worlds. WASP-96b may not be a promising candidate for life as a gas giant, but the instruments of the James Webb Telescope are capable of detecting Earth-like planets and evidence of life. The precise observation of WASP-96b was carried out using the SAU mode of NERUS. SAU stands for Single Object Slitless Spectroscopy, and this innovative technique analyzes the spectra of individual celestial objects without the use of a slit. This slitless approach enables a broader coverage of the light spectrum, which simplifies the analysis and improves the quality of the collected data. The Spectral Analysis Unit, SAU, module captures a wide range of wavelengths, typically from 6 micrometers in the visible red to 2.8 micrometers in the near-infrared. This capability to capture a broad spectrum in a single exposure is particularly valuable for analyzing the atmospheric composition of exoplanets. It enables scientists to detect the signatures of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other important molecules. The James, the James Webb Space Telescope features technologies that surpass the capabilities of its predecessors. Its impressive instrumentation utilizes infrared spectroscopy for the first time, making it much more powerful than the Hubble or ground-based telescopes. The innovative technology and the ability to reduce interfering radiation significantly enhance the direct observation of larger exoplanets. The near-infrared camera system, the near-infrared spectrograph, the mid-infrared instrument, and the fine guidance sensor near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph cover an unprecedented spectrum of infrared wavelengths, enabling precise analysis of different planets and other astronomical phenomena. Experts point out that we are only at the very beginning with the analysis of WASP-96b and the new technology, and we can look forward to seeing what completely new data on exoplanets this telescope will surprise us with in the next 10 years. Exoplanet research is on the threshold of new worlds. It sounds hard to imagine, but of the estimated trillions of planets in the Milky Way alone, we have only discovered just over 5,000 for certain to date. These distant worlds orbiting stars outside our solar system are extremely difficult to observe, they emit no light themselves, and when they pass by their stars, even gas giants are just small dots. The Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990, was one of the first instruments capable of making precise observations of objects outside our solar system. Although it was not specifically designed for exoplanet research, Hubble has already provided us with valuable data to further deepen this knowledge. Scientists set the Kepler Space Telescope into space in 2009, thanks to its ability to detect tiny changes in the brightness of stars, Kepler revolutionized exoplanet research, and since its launch, the number of planets discovered has increased daily. The purpose of exoplanet research is to improve our understanding of how planetary systems form and evolve. Seeing many other planets helps us to better identify the conditions under which life forms. We still face the big question of whether we are alone in the universe. Where did life on Earth come from, and if there are other life forms, where are they? We need to explore exoplanets to answer these pressing questions. Despite technological advances, the challenges of finding and analyzing them are enormous. Astronomers have developed various methods to track down these tiny cosmic objects. The transit method, in which the periodic dimming of a star is observed as a planet passes in front of it, is one of the most successful techniques. Another method is the radial velocity method, which measures the movements of a star due to the gravitational influence of an orbiting planet. These movements lead to tiny but measurable changes in the spectral line of a star, indicating the presence of a planet. So far, we have discovered quite a few surprises in the cosmos. We know of almost 30 Earth-like planets, but each of these worlds is unique. 
The many Neptunes or Hyan worlds make up a very large portion of the exoplanets in the solar system. These rich water worlds could harbor life. We also know of many gas planets similar to Jupiter and Saturn, and we've even discovered a super Saturn with a massive ring system beyond our imagination. This diversity reinforces the hope that there are star systems elsewhere in the universe that are similar to ours and that there are planets that, like Earth, are perfect for life. While we have not yet found life beyond Earth, advancements in telescopic technology, such as the Webb telescope, are enhancing our ability to make discoveries. Webb has already spotted water on Earth-like planets and, thanks to its specialized MIRI spectrograph, can even detect artificial light patterns around planets. In simpler terms, this means we could potentially identify city lights or large industrial operations on Earth-like planets in space. Press the subscribe button now and be part of every new video.